are Night Wolves, and welcome back to another Sims video. Today we are doing a challenge, and I am doing the realistic challenge. And I am creating not one Sim, but two Sims. And I am creating me and my best friend. Her name is Becca, and I don't know. I just, I, when I saw the realistic challenge, I was gonna do this from my 300 subscriber video but then I didn't have time to get all the CC and stuff like that around and whatnot so I did it now instead but yeah I decided to do this challenge and do me and my best friend so surprise best friend I made us in the sims I hope I did good I think they look good to me but tell me what you guys think if I if the sims look like me and my best friend or not. I'm not that good at creating realistic sims. I really did try my best and my hardest to create me and my best friend in the sims. I was having a hard time with the hair. There's old pictures and new pictures that you guys will be seeing. The new... I was having a hard time finding hair that fit that fit me that fit my sim i mean because i don't know like the hair i had i picked the hair out and i'm like oh that actually looks kind of like my hair and i tried it on and i don't know it just looked it didn't look right i didn't like it so i gave her a ponytail i have it where her hair is pulled back i normally wear my hair back most of the time especially when i have really long hair i normally wear my hair back constantly so I'm like, you know what, that's how I am. I have blue glasses and the one where I have like a pink and white striped shirt, those are my old glasses. My new, the new ones are like the big blue ones that I have. And my best friend wears glasses, but she does not wear glasses all the time. So that's why when you see pictures of her later on, you will not see her with her glasses on in any of her pictures. And some pictures of me, I have my glasses off and that's because when I'm taking pictures, there's a glare on my glasses all the time and it sucks and I hate it. So I've always constantly taken my glasses off to take pictures, to not have the glare on my glasses. But I do have some pictures where I do have glasses on and mine are blue. Becca, she has glasses, but she does not wear her glasses, and she's supposed to, but she doesn't. Except for last night, I saw her, and she had her glasses on, and she has purple glasses. So I put me and her in glasses, because we technically have glasses, even though Becca doesn't wear her. So I had a hard time with my girl and finding hair that fits her, but the hair that I do give her is hair that's pulled back in a ponytail, and that, it looks kind of like me. I normally wear my hair back, like I said. And Becca, she has, I have some old pictures of her as well, and she has long she has like kind of longish hair in some of the pictures that you guys will see but her hair right now is actually very short she just recently got it cut and i love her haircut so yeah she just recently cut her hair like it is like kind of like a mohawk i think or like i don't know you guys will see pictures of her later on but she has it like cut real short and it's kind it's not shaved but it's like really short down to kind of like the scalp and then she has like kind of like a fringe going off to the side and I was trying to find hair that looked like her hair and I couldn't really find like good hair that looked good on her but I did find one hair that looked really good on her but the hair is too long she doesn't ha that's not how long her hair is her hair is actually shorter than that but that's the only hair that like matches what she kind of has and it fits even though the hair is a little long than what she has. Anyways, so yeah, I hope you guys like how we came out. I think I, we looked really good. I I don't know, like I, I think it feels kind of still simish. It doesn't really look too like realistic to me but like i said tell me what you think down in the comments i would love to hear in one of my outfits i was gonna give my girl like this cute 
skull shirt because I have like five things with skulls on it. I love skulls. I have like two to three different shirts with skulls and I have a, a sweater with skulls on it and I was gonna get my girl a skull shirt but she it was a belly shirt and I changed my mind because I'm actually kind of body like I, not body like I just I don't know like I'm self-conscious I guess you could say I'm just self-conscious I don't know I don't like showing off too much skin so I do try on like a lot of belly shirts and stuff like that but then I decided not to go with any of the belly shirts because I'm like kind of self-conscious and stuff like that so I love my outfit that I put on my girl I always wear sneakers I never wear high heels I do put makeup on my girl and I put makeup on my best friend sim as well but the thing is me and her rarely ever wear makeup only like I wear makeup for like a special occasions and stuff like that my best friend she wears makeup on special occasions and I think she also wears makeup when she feels like it not all the time but I do put makeup on me and my girl because I think sims look a lot better if you put makeup on them and I just felt weird if I didn't put makeup on my sim even though I don't wear makeup in general so yeah um, I'm gonna consider this a special occasion and tell uh, and Put makeup on my girl okay so i went over what i wear let's go over what becca is wearing okay so she'll be wearing overalls which are super cute and adorable it reminds me of a conversation that we had she sent me a picture of when she just got her hair done and when she sent it to me it kind of looked like Elle from Stranger Things so I kind of gave her overalls because it reminds me of Elle from Stranger Things and it kind of fits her girl as well it looks really good on her I give her flip-flops because if I know Becca she could wear flip-flops all year round if she could but because where we live we get snow she can't wear flip-flops during snow because of the cold you know <laughs> so she wears overalls with black flip-flops and the, on the thing that holds your feet whatever it's called it has rainbows on it and I really like them I don't know what color her actual flip-flops are I know she wears flip-flops all the time but I never looked down to see what kind of flip-flop she has so I went with black and rainbows because my best friend likes rainbows I'm pretty sure and her eyes I didn't know what kind of color to give her because her eyes I think change colors I'm not even positive but I feel like every time I see her she has like I think brown or I don't know what color eyes do you have Becca I don't know when I was looking at the pictures I kind of look like she has like dark blue eyes but that might be because we use filters so it might be the thing that changed her eye color but she looks like she has blue eyes sometimes sometimes she looks like she has brown eyes I, her eyes definitely change colors so when I give her her eyes, do her eyes, I do them like a blue brown color it's kind of like a mixture of colors because that's what her eyes are a mixture of colors because they're constantly changing but yeah uh i don't know what else to say i think i covered everything that i wanted to talk in this video i'm probably gonna stop recording and then i'm like oh i should have said this or i should have said that before i do end the video i wanted to go over our traits and tell you why i picked each trait for us me i'm a computer whiz but the thing is i'm really not really good with computers i'm not the reason why i gave myself computer whiz is because i am going to college for graphic design so that has to do with computers so that's why i gave myself computer whiz so that's the only computer thing that they have for the sim in the sims so i gave myself computer wiz and that's the reason why i gave it to myself and then i gave myself a geek because i am a big geek i gave me and my best friend most of the same traits and that's because me and her like a lot of the same things and have a lot in common so that's why i gave me and 
her pretty much the same traits but there's like a lot of traits that I could have given us that fit us but these are the ones that I went with so just to let you know so I'm a computer whiz because of my graphic design I'm a geek because I love anime Marvel DC anything geeky related I love it I'm a cat lover I absolutely adore and love cats I don't have anything against dogs. I love dogs as well, but I'm 100% a cat lover. I'm family oriented. I am very family oriented. I want to have my own family. I love spending time with my family. And then Becca, I gave her Strangerville Mystery, which I actually could have given her artistic or something like with writing but for her st I gave her Strangerville mystery because she likes mystery stuff and I love mystery stuff too so I could have gave myself mi of the Strangerville mystery too because we love mystery we love like w about ghosts or like anything like that has a mystery behind it me and Becca just love it so I gave that one to Becca instead of giving it to myself. Uh, she also is a geek. We have all that in common. We love anime, we love Marvel, DC, etc. So we're very geeky. Um, we always are geeking out over everything. I put her as paranoid because I don't know, like, I don't think she's paranoid. I just gave it to her because she has anxiety. So I feel like that kind of plays in with it maybe so i gave her paranoid because of that um i could have given her like uh i don't know i could have given her so many <laughs> options other than paranoid i guess paranoid wasn't a good one for her now that i think about it becca now you're paranoid <laughs> anyways and she's also family oriented so yeah that is going to be the end of the video Watch until the very end of the video. There will be pictures of the girls. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to. Ring that bell if you want to see more videos from me. And I will see all you beautiful night wolves in the next video. Goodbye.